Lisa D. Hart here, Three Minutes with a Main Guide, and today we're going to talk baking tools. I'm going to feature some things you don't normally see, so I'm skipping the Dutch oven. Uh, and we're going to start with this. This is a little Coleman Camp oven. They still make these. Uh, it folds to this, the sides open up. Here's what I liked about it um, I liked how compact it was in storage. This gauge is nearly entirely accurate. I loved that. For me as a guide, I just couldn't produce enough food out of it. I didn't like that. Uh, and also I used it on top of the fire and that pulled away from the main cooking of the meal. And I didn't like that about it. But if you're small and in a small group, it was pretty slick. So here is one of the more traditional guide tools when it comes to baking, the reflector oven. This is really good for uh, not so much battered things like cornbread, but for things like biscuits, cinnamon rolls, scones, bread, garlic bread, cupcakes. Um, and I just use the little foil and the paper on the, on the inside. I've had corporate juggernauts reduced to children over cupcakes on a river. So the thing about these is, in the use of them, you just can't be afraid to get them hot. Get that fire going good, put this right up against the front. You can see what's inside, you're not gonna burn it, and just don't be afraid to get it hot. This one is obviously for a dozen people and it doesn't collapse. This one will feed zero to eight. And the nice thing about this is it's made by Sproul, S-P-R-O-U-L. It has these pins, you pull these, this one will collapse and fold up really nice. I used to just keep it in a canvas bag, um, but these are just little tabs, okay? As soon as you collapse it, put these back in. If you crimp one of those tabs, you're all done and this really nice thing is ruined. So now we've made our way back to, you guessed it, the tried and true camper's cook-all, camper kitchen. Um, these are great for the brownies, the cornbread, the cakes, the any the dump cakes, anything that has a um, a batter to it. And even though it's square, makes a really decent pie if you decide to do that. Um, I hope you guys saw uh, the video of guide Wayne Daggett and Dave Conley and I making brownies. Um, and I hope you can hear it sizzle when it hits the, the pan. Just like these, you've got to get this hot. So um, message me through Facebook if you want details on how to get a hold of any of these. I'll do the best I can. None of them are really mass, mass produced. I started out as a baker before I was a guide. And when I started producing baked goods in the middle of nowhere, I started doing world-class canoe trips. When you can make pies and cinnamon rolls in the middle of nowhere, who's going on that world-class canoe trip? You're going on that world-class canoe trip. I'm Lisa Dehart, and you've just spent three minutes with a main guide. Mm -hmm.